Welcome to my talk about UNISERF, Unifying Implicit Surface Representations and Radiance Fields. I'm Michael and this is joint work with Song Yu Peng and Andreas Geiger. We are proposing a novel method for the popular task of surface reconstruction from multi-view images. In the past years, neural coordinate-based representations have emerged as a powerful description of 3D surfaces and appearance. Prior work has shown that this family of representations is extremely effective in surface reconstruction models and especially also for novel view synthesis. Existing works on multi-view reconstruction as DVR and IDR use neural surface representations such as occupancy or SDF fields to capture highly accurate geometry. Surfaces are defined as a specific level set of a field, for example, for occupancies it's tau equals 0 0.5, and the appearance in these methods is also represented as a continuous field of a 3D point and a viewing direction. To obtain surfaces from only images as input, a key component is also the differentiable rendering technique. This technique enables optimizing the surface and the appearance field for given input images. IDR and DVR use a surface rendering technique that requires finding first the intersection of array and the level set surface and then evaluates the appearance at the intersection point on the surface to get a color value. Those methods backpropagate then through the entire rendering step using implicit differentiation. As we see here, IDR reaches a very high level of detail at reconstructed surfaces. However, a major drawback of these surface rendering methods is that they require pixel accurate masks as an additional supervision signal. A reason here is that gradients are locally bound to surface regions. This brings us to the central question behind this work. How can we obtain accurate geometry without mask supervision? An existing method for obtaining neural 3D representations without mask supervision is NERF, neural radiance fields. NERF is not using an implicit surface representation and instead represents objects in a density field sigma without defining a surface. During rendering, the density field is used to accumulate the radiance along the rays in an alpha compositing way. Differently to surface rendering, this technique uses multiple locations in a volume to determine the color instead of only a single surface point for rendering. NERF outputs photorealistic images without any need of mask supervision due to the volume rendering technique. However, surfaces extracted as level sets are not satisfactory and show artifacts, here visible in the sample on the right from the DTU dataset. In contrast to surface rendering methods, NERF is not optimizing a specific level set of the density to represent the surface. Hence, a level set threshold needs to be found after optimization for extracting the surface. And there is no guarantee that this serves everywhere as an appropriate choice. We have seen that surface rendering requires masks and existing volume rendering methods do not lead to accurate surfaces. Our approach is now to use the best of both worlds and unify surface rendering and volume rendering for implicit surfaces. First of all, we need to unify implicit surfaces and volume rendering. NERF's rendering equation can be reformulated as alpha compositing of the radiance of sampled points. The alpha weights can then be derived from the density values using a distance delta between consecutive query points. Assuming a solid object and non-transparent objects, alpha can be seen as an occupancy variable with one when it's inside an object and zero in free space. Thus, we can simply reformulate volume rendering for occupancies. Now we are able to render this representation via surface as well as volume rendering. How can we combine both of these rendering methods into one method that 
does not require mask supervision and at the same time estimates accurate level set surfaces. Our key idea is to use volume rendering in the early stage of the optimization and use its abilities to remove ambiguities in the full volume. Further on, a transition to surface rendering should help for learning accurate surface level sets. We propose a three-step rendering procedure that allows for a transition from volume to surface rendering during the optimization process. The first step is to find the intersection point XS of a ray and the surface. Similarly to surface rendering methods like DVR, we perform uniform ray marching along the ray to find a step in the occupancies. Then we use an iterative second method to find the actual intersection point. Given the surface point XS, we then define an interval with the half length delta. The choice of the delta plays an important role in our optimization procedure, which we discuss on the next slide. Finally, we uniformly sample points inside the interval and use the volume rendering technique for occupancies. We found that sampling a small number of points between the camera and the interval helps to prevent free space artifacts in front of the interval. A central aspect of the procedure is the interval delta. By decreasing delta during training, we move from volume rendering in the beginning to rendering only at the surface in the end of the optimization. Mathematically speaking, we found that the volume rendering equation becomes equivalent to surface rendering in the limit of vanishing interval and an infinite number of sampled points. We provide a proof of this claim in the supplementary of our paper. In practice, it turns out that an exponential decay of the interval leads to a good performance. With this rendering procedure, we use the best from both rendering techniques. It enables optimization for a defined level set surface without using mask supervision. Our loss function consists of two parts. Our main objective is a L1 reconstruction loss between predicted pixel color values and its corresponding ground roof value. Further, we apply a surface regularization term that acts as a smoothness prior during the optimization. Therefore, we use a L2 distance between the normal of a surface point and a point sampled from its neighborhood. This regularizes allows us to steer for smoothness. To assess the capabilities of Unisurf, we conduct experiments on multiple datasets. Here we provide the output of Unisurf for the skull sample from the DTU MVS dataset. The reconstructed appearance as well as the geometry are plausible and contain high quality details. Our predictions show less artifacts than the level set extracted from NERF and the reconstruction quality is on a similar level as IDR that is trained with pixel accurate masks. In a quantitative comparison using the official DTU evaluation procedure, we found our method compares favorably to cold map without a trimming and nerve regarding the chamfer distance. IDR shows slightly better numbers but uses this mask supervision. We further applied our method to object-centered samples from the blended MVS dataset. Here we use an additional background model to handle more difficult background in the scenes. Our model also shows plausible reconstructions with various details. Also details in larger scenes are captured properly. While UNICEF captures accurate geometries, there are some limiting factors here. First, our model is by definition only able to represent solid objects and it cannot model transparencies. 
Furthermore, the reconstruction performance drops for overexposed and rarely visible regions in the ground roof images. As an example, we see non-plausible surfaces here in the top right example. Another difficulty results from shadows and holes in objects. Here our model struggles with resolving the shape appearance ambiguity. In future work we plan to resolve some of the aforementioned limiting factors by learning a model prior for implicit services from multi-view images. To conclude, we proposed UNISERF. It is a unified formulation of implicit surfaces and radiance fields that allows for volume rendering of implicit surfaces. Our rendering procedure allows for obtaining accurate level set surfaces with the benefit of volume rendering and it hence does not require object masks. In the end, I want to point the audience to two exciting concurrent works on the same topic, definitely worth reading. Thanks for listening to our talk. More information is available at this URL.